Clifftop is an organization founded in 2006 to help landowners with property on the bluffs overlooking the Mississippi River in St. Clair, Monroe, and Randolph counties become better stewards of their land. But as time has gone by, Clifftop has evolved into a leading conservation group dedicated to working with state and other nonprofit preservation groups to put sensitive areas into public ownership. In order to better do this, the group felt they needed more data that would document the huge amount of biodiversity offered in these unique areas where forest and clifftop prairies meet. So they organized an event called a BioBlitz, asking zoologists, botanists, herpetologists, and every other kind of ologist to do a survey of Salt Lake Point Reserve near Valmire, Illinois. An ecosystem's health is determined by the diversity of species that live within that ecosystem. The biological diversity is an important measurement to determine not only the current health, but to give us some good ideas about future best conservation land management practices. The best way to get a rapid measurement of biodiversity is to conduct a bio blitz. Clifftop, a not-for-profit preservation organization, decided to organize Southern Illinois' first bio blitz at the Salt Lick Point Land and Water Reserve. Welcome to Illinois' Ozarks. We thank you very, very much for taking the time, spending the money to come here to help us do this. Clifftop has been the leader in actually working to contact the scientists. We logistically organized 50 scientists who are here from seven universities, three state agencies, to come here for a 24-hour period and conduct a survey of trying to observe and record every living thing on this reserve. We have about 15 academic disciplines here today. We have mycologists who are looking at um, fungi. We have uh, bryophytologists who are looking at moss and liverworts. We have mammologists who are studying, surveying for mammals. Uh, we have a snail specialist. We have uh, nearly a dozen herpetologists. Many of their specialties are not only and uh, reptiles, but also amphibians, frogs and toads. We have uh, botanists, of course, looking at all plant life. As soon as everybody got here and was standing around till we had our organizational assembly meeting, they were glumming up by academic discipline. The entomologists were hanging out together, the botanists were hanging out together. This actually is quite natural, since scientists from specific disciplines already know each other from years of attending the same conferences. Simply put, these were familiar faces, and this was a grand opportunity for them to play together. We want you to have fun. The first job is getting this group dispersed to locations throughout the 750 acres of this nature preserve. We need to put you and your expertise in the right place. Um, I have played a role in, um, because I know the landscape here very well, the terrain, in determining which scientists we would put in which sectors based on their um, specialty and their abilities in this terrain. Many of these researchers prefer to work in teams, like the tandem of Bill McLean and Doc Abinger. I'm with um, a friend of mine, actually he was my professor. We first met in 1963 um, at Eastern Illinois University. And uh, through the years, we've done a lot of research and writing together. And uh, we're invited to join in by Carl Dahlbach. And he said, hey, we're going to do a Bible Blitz next year. Come on down. And we, we promised him we would. So we're here. And we're just trying to figure out how many different species of plants are there or that we can find and identify. Well, we'll keep going like that today. We'll have more than what they've originally found for this entire place. Botanist John Schwegman and his wife Martha were also enjoying this event together. Well, uh, this is the uh, Carolina Cranes Bill. This is one of the native wild geraniums that we have in southern Illinois. We hadn't listed it yet today. John Schwegman worked for, for uh, many decades in the Illinois Department of Natural Resources as a botanist and a natural areas program manager. He is definitely a pioneer in the natural yeah, areas yeah, field yeah. and a long-term uh, advocate of conservation of natural areas. So we'll take a leaf of that just for the record. The genus is called Oxalis. But it's the uh, 
It's the same, the same thing as the shamrock. I know most of the flora here, so it's mostly a matter of just looking what's growing here and making a note, notation of, of what's here. And uh, so, but, but in addition to that then, what are the creatures that are there living off those plants and living in the, uh, the, the habitats that are provided there? There's obviously some in some, something that they're eating in this tree, I'm not sure. The quality of the scientists volunteering their time for this effort is like a who's who of Illinois naturalists. Jim Weicker may be self-taught, but he's the go-to guy when it comes to butterflies. Well, there's generally a core group of people kind of throughout the state who, who study different parts of natural history. Uh, and I study butterflies and moths. There's, there's a number of butterflies that, that only occur in prairies or are pretty closely tied to them. That's the kind of stuff I hope to find when I, when I go into this. This is a female spice bush swallowtail. It's the Pileo troilus. Actually, it's a male. See this green here? If, it was, if that green was replaced with blue, it would be a female. They're enjoyable to attend as you, you get to work with people that, that study everything. You know, I know a lot about butterflies and moths, but not a lot about everything else. So it's kind of a learning experience for all of us. We kind of all uh, take something back from, from everybody we're around during the bio blitz. The purpose of the bio blitz is mainly to document, get as many experts out here in as many fields as possible to document what it is that's here. Uh, these, these are extremely rare, like just Monroe, Randolph, and Jersey County is it for the entire state. And what species? Yeah? Great Plains rat snake. And this shows us that these areas are worth protecting because they're home to many threatened and endangered species. I think you learn a lot about what's in an area and for example, um, this is the way we find out where there might be threatened and endangered species in the state. It's also really good because people come out and with any luck they get to see us and the other biologists actually catch animals. Tonight they will be mist netting over two of the water features on the reserve in an attempt to capture temporarily and identify bats. If we catch any bats tonight and people get to see them up close, they have a better feeling for what they're like because a lot of people are still kind of scared of, of bats and snakes and spiders and all those kind of things. So if they get to see them um, at, at an event like this, it really helps them understand those creatures better. While the public did come out to meet the scientists and see them work, this bio blitz proved itself to be a rigorous scientific investigation that'll pay off for years to come. This is uh, dead nettle. In our studies, we get basically a baseline. Someone can come back 20, 30 years, 40 years later and see what changes have taken place. Part of the BioBlitz is to determine what other future conservation measurements are best necessary to keep this a unique, vibrant, self-sustaining natural area.